What's up, Schwartz Force? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to take a look at a really fun watch. I actually forgot I had this watch because uh, it was kind of out of sight, out of mind. It's the Skimi or Skimme drum watch here. These things you can pick up. There's other brands that, that also make them. Um, you can buy them between 20 to 30 bucks, and they have all different color options, uh, strap, bracelets, whatever you want. There's a whole bunch of different choices and just a really fun watch, kind of unique. I know some other YouTubers have reviewed this as well, so I'm just gonna share with you my thoughts on it. And I also apologize, I didn't upload any other videos last week after the giveaway, which kind of took a week off. Um, I guess we'll say it was my spring break. I, I just, I wasn't getting a whole lot of sleep. It was starting to catch up to me. And I was like, you know what? I started feeling like I was getting sick and um, I figured, let me just take some time off. So I'm back, sorry for the wait. What better way to return than with a nice fun watch? Now. Real quick, I do gotta point out, when you look up this watch on Amazon specifically, you're gonna run into a brand Stower, Stower, um, and kinda pissed me off that, to see that they were selling this exact watch, like to the T with a different branding on the, on the dial for $99, which is just crazy. Do not pay $100 for this watch. Um, it is a fun, cool little watch, but it is not worth $100. And it kind of upsets me to know that some people probably have purchased their watch for that price. It's not even a stainless steel case. It's an alloy case. Um, it's not worth $100. Bucks. Sorry. I mean, you can go pick this up on AliExpress for like $24 bucks with a coupon or whatever and save a few dollars there. So that's just my little rant. They mentioned about in their description like oh this is the only time we've seen a drum watch is at basel and um it was eight hundred thousand dollars and i'm like wait what like what are you talking about and so i was like digging and digging i didn't see anything about a drum watch from basel i think there was one reference to something back in like 1974 and i'm like what are you talking about and then i did stumble across the jacob and co which is a really extravagant brand they make some crazy complicated dials and cases and all sorts of, of cool stuff million dollar watches but anyway they did make a drum roller style um what was it called I'll, I'll link a picture of it i'll show you a picture of it here and yeah it sold for like between 375 four hundred thousand dollars or whatever they only made a hundred and something of them it, whatever okay maybe that's what they were referring to but either way I mean, it's, they're not the same. This is not the same as that watch. So to say you could get something similar for a fraction of the price is not cool. I'm gonna definitely give you my thoughts on this watch. Fun little cool watch. Now, in case if you are new to the channel, my name's Dave, may the Schwartz be with you. And hey, did you know, it's a great day to wear a watch. Today, I have all my glycine combat sub in bronze. This I purchased to celebrate a thousand subscribers on YouTube. So if you haven't joined the Schwartz Force yet, please hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. That helps the channel out with growing and creating more content. So thank you so much for all the support. And I just did a giveaway, so make sure you don't miss out on the next giveaway. So we'll go ahead and turn the camera around and start the review on this watch. Let's check it out. Hey, did you know it's a great day to wear a watch? All right, guys, so here we have the drum watch. Now, real quick, I just wanna say, before we get into the review, um, I'm gonna hold this watch to the standards of a 20 to $30 watch. I'm not going to be expecting the same things I would get out of a multi-hundred dollar you know, watch. This is definitely a budget watch. It's just for fun, really cool, kind of unique design and look to it, but I'm not expecting this thing to um, wow me with specs and performance. So I just wanna throw that out there first. But as you can see, it comes on this nice brown leather strap. It's actually kind of a cool little dark gingerbread uh, type of, of leather to it. It does say it's genuine leather. Um, as you see, we have some skimmy branding there also on this simple tang buckle. Now, this is most likely a stainless steel buckle, but it might be alloy. It feels like it's stainless steel. The case, however, is not stainless steel, that is alloy. And as you can see, it is all in high polish. It kind of reminds me of the Benyar watch, but this thing is definitely a large watch. So for my larger wrist gents out there, this is one you could definitely pull off just to kind of show you here. The case dimensions are 44 millimeters wide, 
with the lug to lug height, it's coming in at 52 millimeters and case thickness is just over 15 millimeters. So very large. We have a lug width of 24 millimeters, which, you know, proportion wise, that's good for this size watch in my opinion. Um, could probably gone with a 22 millimeter as well, just for additional strap options. But this particular one is on a 24 millimeter lug width and there you go. So I'm going to show it to you on the wrist first. So here it is on my seven inch wrist. You know, after wearing some larger watches, it's, I don't feel like it's too big. Um, I mean that lug to lug height is definitely kind of reaching the maximum for my wrist size. And you can see how it sits atop my wrist it has very large, um, wrist presence to it, but it's not so chunky that it's kind of weird to me. I mean, you know, I've worn like some Panerai homages and stuff like that. And this is right up there with it. So I think it's just going to be personal preference. If you think this watch is too big for your wrist, I think if you have a seven and a half, eight inch and larger wrist, you could definitely pull this off. Anything under seven inches might be a little difficult. Now, even though this watch is polished with that alloy case, it is definitely a fingerprint and scratch magnet. So just a heads up there we do have a stainless steel case back it has the battery code there as you can see lr44 30 meters water resistance 1516 is the model reference number so this is just a push on case back and then you'll notice there are four buttons also coded in that um, chrome or alloy finishing <laughs> so one of the things that kind of made me laugh about this watch is the tachymeter indices on the outer edge there on the bezel um, it is a fixed bezel and you can see it has that kind of high polish black coating to it so kind of like a black pvd coating i'm assuming that because of the size of the watch they wanted some sort of numbers along the bezel just so it didn't look as big because um, i'm sure with just a plain black bezel this would look even larger than it already is but I will say one thing that I do like is the texturing on this dial. It kind of has this waffle pattern and there is, yeah, some three-dimensional texturing going on there. And then you see those rollers there in black. So we have silver Arabic numbers that are printed onto the dial. We have indication there of just the drum watch. <laughs> How cool is that? The drum watch. So in case you didn't know this was a drum watch, now you know. Got Skimay branding at 12 o'clock with quartz indication. Um, and then of course we see here along the chapter ring, just these simple red dots at each hour marker, which again is kind of funny to me because there's no hands on this watch. So I think these are just kind of traditional features that you find and they just put them on so it wasn't a blank dial. Now I don't wanna go into all of the instructions. You can find those online. When you buy the watch, it'll come with instructions, but basically there's a demo mode if you press this top right pusher, it'll roll through the drum rollers. So you can kind of see how that is. You know, the cool thing about this watch that caught my eye was that it reminds me of like those old school alarm clocks. But yeah, it'll roll through and then goes back to the normal time. Now, one of the things that I do like about this watch, because obviously it's using the battery to roll those um, numbers each way. And you can see these are a little offset. I didn't center them perfectly. It's cool, it's whatever. But you can press this bottom pusher three times. One, two, three and it'll go to 12 o'clock. And what it's doing is it's in a power reserve mode. So it is keeping time in the background, but it's going to basically stop the rollers from moving. I have heard on some reviews that the rollers are quite loud. I will say in my personal experience, I don't, I can barely hear them when they're rotating. Um, they're not very loud. Sometimes I don't even hear it switch to the next minute. And so I know some people have complained about that being too loud. So it may be a case by case basis. This particular watch I have, it's not super loud. In fact, let me, I'll hold it up to the mic and you can hear. So hopefully you could hear that. Um, again, not super loud in my opinion, but if you just don't like listening to it or you wanna preserve the battery life on your watch, then you can always put it into this kind of power save mode. Any button you push, will take it back out and it'll return to the current time. So. This is great if this is one of these watches that you're gonna put in your watch box for a good amount of time and then pull it out later. You can always put it in that mode, which is kind of cool. So there's really not a whole lot of bad things about the watch. The reason I know this is not a stainless steel case, aside from them mentioning it on the websites, is I took a uh, spring bar tool and I actually scraped right here behind the lug on purpose. And you can see that kind of bronze copperish color 
and that is a telltale sign that it is not just stainless steel. I mean, it, it scratches right into that coating. And so that was just my way of kind of confirming because I have made the mistake of saying stainless steel watch cases before and that ended up not being the case and I don't wanna mislead anybody. So heads up, not a full stainless steel case. What that means long-term is that eventually this coating could wear through and then you're gonna to start to see it look kind of ugly. So here we have it guys, the Skimi drum watch. Not a whole lot to say. Um, I definitely don't expect this thing to last forever, but I think for 20 to 30 bucks, if this catches your eye, yeah, definitely splurge and pick one up in whatever color brand that you like. Um, I'd be happy if this thing lasted a couple years, but I wouldn't be sad if it didn't. So I think for the price, you're getting a cool conversation piece and something a little different than what you probably would see in most people's watch collections. So make sure you drop me a comment. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That definitely helps out my channel. And if you haven't joined the Schwartz Force yet, go ahead and click my face down here. Would love to have you be part of the family. And if you liked this review and want to see more like it, you can check out this video, which I know you guys will enjoy. But as always, may the Schwartz be with you, and I will look forward to seeing you guys at the next one. Take care.